Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Rochella. Today's theme is birds. I'm going to start off by reading some poems about birds and showing you some bird art. And then we're going to try to make a toucan, which is found primarily um, down in the tropics, places like Brazil. Okay, before we get started, I need you to give me Number one, legs are crossed. Number two, hands are still. Number three, ears are listening. Number four, eyes are watching. And number five, we're gonna zip it, lock it, and put it in our pocket. All the things a bird is, by Annette Wynne. All the things a bird is, swinging in a tree. He's the builder of a house as high as high can be. He makes it cozy, safe, and strong, a pleasant home the summer long. He's a traveler through the air. He knows the streets to anywhere. When autumn comes, away he'll fly, along the south road of the sky. He's a singer in the sun, calling out to everyone. To hear him tell from east to west, the heart that sings and loves is best. He's a teacher telling you, be strong and busy, wise and true, and learn to journey, build and sing, and find the good in everything. The Building of the Nest by Margaret Sangster They'll come again to the apple tree, Robin and all the rest, when the orchard branches are fair to see, in the snow of the blossoms dressed. And the prettiest thing in the world will be the building of the nest. Weaving it well, so round and trim, hollowing it with care. Nothing too far away for him, nothing for her too fair. Hanging it safe on the topmost limb, their castle in the air. Ah, mother bird, you'll have your weary days, when the eggs are under your breast. And shadow may darken the dancing rays, when the wee ones leave the nest. But they'll find their wings in a glad amaze, and God will see to the rest. So come to the trees with all your train when the apple blossoms blow. Through the April shimmer of sun and rain, go flying to and fro. And sing to our hearts as we watch again your fairy building grow. Answer to a Child's Question by Samuel Taylor Coleridge Do you ask what the birds say? The sparrow, the dove, the linnet and thrush say, I love, I love. In the winter they're silent, their wind is so strong. What it says, I don't know, but it sings a loud song. But green leaves and blossoms and sunny warm weather and singing and loving all come back together. But the lark is so brimful of gladness and love. The green fields below him, the blue sky above, that he sings and he sings and forever sings he. I love my love and my love loves me. It's time to make a Leo Leone inspired toucan. From his book, Inch by Inch. First, you'll need to get a cereal box. Play it on your work table and trace your hand and arm. Be sure to bend your hand at the wrist at a 90 degree angle. Take a plastic bottle cap and trace it. This will be the eye of the toucan. Carefully cut out the toucan with scissors. You may need to ask an adult for help because cutting through cardboard can be quite difficult. Take a grocery bag and use it as a drop cloth. Place your toucan on top of your grocery bag and you are ready to get painting. A toucan's colors are black, green, red, orange, and yellow. Be generous with your colors and remember, it's okay to make a mess.
And remember not to forget about the beak. You can stop here or make a collage for the background. Use a piece of corrugated board for the base of your collage. Use pieces of magazine paper, blue for the sky, green for the mountains, trees, and grass. You don't even have to use scissors. You could rip out the pages by hand. Glue it to your corrugated board. Big pieces first, then filling in the gaps with smaller pieces. And if you want, you could add more color with paint. I'm using solid tempera paint sticks, which are like jumbo colored glue sticks. They're terrific for making things like posters and painting windows, especially during Halloween. And when you are satisfied with your collage, you can glue the toucan on top. And now you are done with your Leo Leone inspired toucan art.